Smith Island is a 3 by 5 mile island chain located about 12 miles west of Crisfield, Maryland. It is comprised of three villages. Yule, the largest of the three, is joined by a bridge to Rhodes Point. The third is Tylerton, which is on a neighboring but unconnected island. You can only reach Smith Island by boat, either on a private vessel or the ferry from Crisfield. I'm Laura Evans and I've lived on Smith Island for 33 years. I got married and moved over here, but funny story, found out my ancestors were from here. I have a grandmother that her father was born and raised here. I've been working at the Cultural Center for the past four years and it's a good place for people to come and, and just come in and just get a good first impression of Smith Island and what life is like living here. Tides and weather govern so much of daily life here. When dropping a line, speckled trout, rockfish, red drum, cow nose rays, and more are a possibility. Uh, my name's Mark Kitchen. I'm a lifetime, uh, full-time full resident of Smith Island, born and raised here all my life. My uh, you know, uh, grandparents, great-grandparents, great-great-grandparents all lived here. Um, yeah, I'm a full-time waterman. I uh, uh, started working with my father when I was 10 years old. Been working on my own since I was 23. Uh, you know, just gets in your blood and you love to do it. Took off one summer, I did, and uh, done other work, and it just didn't seem right not being out on the water when the sun came up in the morning. That was the thing I, was, I uh, missed more than anything. My crabbing occupation, I crab, I crab and oyster, my crabbing occupation is crab scraping go out and work in the shallow waters in the grass bed. Uh, we're down to about eight crab scrapers left on the island when I started um, crabbing back in 1983. It was like 40, we actually got up to about 50 crab scrapers. Uh, um, the last name kitchen is, you, you don't see many of us around here, but you know, it's been around a little while. My grandmother, Frances Kitchen, is known for her cookbook, uh, uh, you know, for food from the island. I, I, that's probably why I don't mind talking to strangers as much as, I don't mean to call you all strangers, but you know, uh, as, as I do, because she, you know, she was a great ambassador for the island. She, she fed people out of her home, and then you know, she did eventually write a cookback book, and I think that was 40 years ago. Time does fly. Um, but she, um, you know, she would take people into her home and feed them. She would you know, entertain uh, uh, yacht clubs out of Annapolis that would come, make a special trip down here each year just to have dinner at her table. And it was, you know, it was her table, it was her dining room table where she just opened everything up and brought out her best china and fed people. So, you know, she was quite an ambassador. Did we mention how good the food is? From hearty, home-style cooking to fresh crab cakes, oysters, and steamed crabs pulled right from the bay. And we can't forget the nine-layer Smith Island cake, the official dessert of Maryland. I'm Captain uh, Ronald Terry Laird Jr. I run the uh, Captain Jason, the freight boat from Smith Island to Crisfield. I bring the groceries. <laughs> and I'm his other half. Yeah. <laughs> Almost. I'm his fiance, Danielle Linton, wow. and um, I help run uh, some of the inns here <clears throat> on Smith Island. And together, we own the island's only nightlife. Jack and Pickles. Jack and Pickles. So, we were supposed to get married last May, but COVID happened. Mm -hmm. um, so we basically took the rest of uh, the money that we would have used for the lodging yeah, and the opened. food and all that. And I mean, this Open is what you see now. Yeah, this is what we did with it. Mm -hmm. So um, when we do reset a date, we're just getting married right out here yeah. at sunset. <laughs> Everybody called him Jack because of his taste for Jack Daniels. <laughs> and um, I'm always munching on my kosher dills. And when we first started dating, one of the neighbors, she started saying, oh look, there's the Jack and Pickles show. <laughs> so it just kind of stuck. So here we go, Jack and Pickles. So we hope that you all enjoy your time here. Just feel the stress leave your body as you step off the boat. And, and we love 
for you to come visit us, visit us anytime. One lodging option is the Pearl on Smith Island, a fully restored farmhouse built in 1900 with a private dock. Bring your own boat and live like a waterman during your stay. If you want to slow down and recharge on the bay, come and see what Smith Island has to offer. Don't miss another Prop Talk video. Subscribe to our channel today.